what's up what's going on it's amber higgins coming at you live from las vegas nevada i'm going home today so uh next time I, i'm live will be charleston south carolina you guys already know anyways as you guys are hopping on say hi say hello today i'm gonna talk to you guys about why your confidence literally does not matter so a lot of people um i get inboxes all the time about people complimenting me on my confidence and you know my ability to like put myself out there and they're like there's no way that i could ever do what you do and so i learned a lot of stuff to uh not today not today a lot of stuff this past weekend um at the event that i attended here in vegas and i want to share some of that with you if that's cool with you drop a yes in the comments below hey claire hey deborah hey lindsay hey felicity hey uh <coughs> cayman uh hey harley hey uh hey listen if your name is not in your handle over on tiktok drop your name hey judy what's up babe so anyways i don't want to waste any time i kind of just want to jump right into it but you guys y'all know the deal make sure you drop your uh where you're from in the comments below uh where you're watching from also if you guys would share out the video for your chance to win my weekly prize pack giveaway definitely do that all you have to do is press the little arrow button and then comment shared in the comments below whenever you're done for your chance to win um okay and then y'all stay tuned to my stories for the winners of that every friday so anyways hey erica hey <clears throat> hey ann hey Lindsay, hey jen hey winter hey erica okay i don't know why my throat is really dry right now hold on a second mm. okay so first things first when somebody comes to me and they're like and i did not i learned this this past weekend because i thought that you had to have passion in order to be successful in whatever area that you want to like really like go head and head in towards whatever you guys get what I'm trying to say right and so there was a speaker and I posted him to my stories which by the way if you guys watch my stories drop stories in the comments below hi Tracy Tracy's bar hopping <laughs> Tracy went from TikTok now she's over on Facebook hi oh selena what's up hello uh jen from eastern connecticut Ooh, interesting i've never been to connecticut i feel like connecticut is very boring i don't know you'll have to con try to convince me to go to your state <laughs> anyway so if you watch my stories drop stories in the comments below uh there was this one speaker there was multiple guest speakers um but m one of my favorite speakers was daniel g okay now daniel g is like he owns his own sales agency and it's literally the top sales agency in in the world and so he's just really good at sales and marketing and all of that stuff. And as you guys know, I help people make money online from their phones. And so if at any point during this live you want to learn how to make money, utilize social media to make some extra income, you can always drop a dollar sign in the comments below um, and I can shoot you some information. Anyways, so he was one of the speakers and... Um, the first thing that he said, like whenever he came on stage, like the first thing he talked to us about was confidence. Because he's like, a lot of people will come to him, like a lot of people come to me and they're like, I can't do what you do. I, I don't have the confidence. And he's like, you don't need confidence. Um, you literally only need hunger. It's like, do you, do you, you guys understand what I'm like, what I'm trying to say when I'm, when I'm saying hunger, right? Like you just want more out of your life. You want more, like there's a difference between hunger pains and start like cravings. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I guess I could, I could use the word cravings, but like, you just have to be hungry. Like I can't teach you that aspect. I can't teach you, Michelle, how to want more for your life. I can't teach you, Sophia, how to want more for your life. Selena, thank you, baby. I can't teach Selena how to want more for her life. And so hunger is a huge piece in developing your confidence. So here's the thing about confidence. Confidence, you don't have to have it to start. Okay, a lot of people, most people, 99.9% .9 of people will not have confidence when they start whatever it is that they want. Let's just say, for instance, like in this situation, let's just say an online business, right? You're not going to have the confidence in yourself right from the rip, okay? So there's two things that you need. We talked about the first one, hunger. So you have to have that burning desire for more. You have to, you have to, you have to want more. I can't want it for you. You know what I mean? So the second thing is, is you have to have courage. I'm looking at my notes here. <laughs> hey, if you're on TikTok and you want to learn how to make money, you have to go message me a dollar sign on Instagram. Okay. Cause the comments here on uh, TikTok do not save. Hi, Kristen. Hey, Michelle. Hey, Jen. Hey, Sarah. Hey, Jesse. Hey, Ashley. Okay. So anyways, hunger and courage. All right. We all have courage. Some of us just allow feel, fear to cripple us. Like a lot of us are letting fear of 
what other people think cripple you. You're letting fear of, of, of failure cripple you. Like, how are you, how are you so afraid of failure yet you haven't even started? You haven't even tried. Okay. You're letting fear. Some of you guys, myself, fear of success cripple you. So like if you can have hunger and you can have courage and you mix those two things and he told us stories in between and to like really like get us, you know, whatever engaged. And I don't even remember the story. I just remember the two points that he made. Okay. So if you have hunger for more and you can embrace your inner courage and you can be courageous and you can put yourself in uncomfortable situations and you can do hard things. That is what builds confidence. Okay. Like a lot of people are, are not understanding that. And so when people come to me and they're like, there's no way I could ever do what you do. I'm like, but why? Like, I don't understand why. Because you could, you're just choosing not to. So a lot of people, what they do is they're like, oh, I want to be successful. I want to make six figures a year. I want to make five figures a month. I want to do this. I want to do that. But they're not willing to put themselves in uncomfortable, uncomfortable situations and be courageous. Like maybe you're hungry. Maybe you're like, yes, I want it. I Like who here would love to make six figures a year? Drop a six in the comments below. Okay. Which by the way, y'all let me know in the comments below where, uh, what you guys do for a living. I'm just curious. So if you would love to make six figures a year, drop a six in the comments below. If you would love to be like, if this is really a part of your goals to be a millionaire, drop a me in the comments below. Drop some, actually don't drop a me, drop a dollar sign in the comments below. Because I'm going to drop a big fat dollar sign. I want to be a millionaire and not even just for the money, but because I know that you have to become a different person in order to make a million dollars a month. And so that is the goal. Okay. So a lot of people are too focused on the six figures. They're too focused on the million dollar a year. They're too focused on this $500,000 a month. Okay. That is possible. My mentor who held this event in Vegas makes over $500,000 a month. I don't think that you guys realize that that money is actually able to be made. And you and I both have the same opportunity to make that same amount of income. And I just said, said to you, it's not about the money. It's about the person that you have to become in order to maintain and achieve that level of income. Are you guys understanding where I'm coming from? If this is making sense, drop some fire in the comments below, okay? Because I am getting fired up, man, okay? Like, this is obviously something that I'm very passionate about. And also, another really important piece that D Daniel G said in his uh, presentation, in his speech, whatever... You don't have to have passion for what you're doing. You just have to have hunger and courage. You just have to have hunger and courage. Drop it in the comments below. Hunger and courage. Stop saying there's no way I can do what you do. Yes, you can. You and I both know that you can do exactly what I do. You're just not willing to put yourself in the position of being uncomfortable and falling flat on your face and, and embarrassing yourself. You're just not willing to do that. And I, I hate to say this. Hey, Mary Alana, baby, how are you? But the people who are making a million dollars a year, my mentor who is making $500,000 plus a month just in network marketing, just in online-based marketing, just in online networking, okay? She, she has multiple businesses outside of this. She, the amount of times this woman has embarrassed herself. See, I don't understand why we're so afraid of, of being embarrassed. I don't understand, like we're all human. We do realize that, right? Why do you care so much about what your neighbor thinks? Why do you care so much about the person that you grew up with in elementary school thinks? They, like, who cares? Who cares? So who's here, who here is hungry? If you're hungry for more, like you know that working two full-time jobs, this is my story, working two full-time jobs, barely able to scrape by and pay your bills is just not going to cut it. Like you're just not going to settle for being average just like everybody else. You're just not going to settle for struggling to pay your bills like everybody else. Drop a, drop hungry, excuse me, I literally just burped on you guys. Sorry, I'm drinking coffee, okay? Drop hungry in the comments below. Um, hey, April. Hey, Shayna. I'm really just throwing down. Hey, Jeanette. Hey, Christina. If you guys haven't already shared the video, make sure you guys tap share in the comments below. I promise I will stop burping on you. <laughs> All right. So if you're hungry, drop hungry in the comments. All right. Now, listen, 
You can't just be hungry. All right. You can't be hungry. Like I, you can't say, I want to do this. I want to be a six figure earner, which by the way, our new friends, if you're just now hopping on and you would like to make six figures a year, drop a six in the comments below. I'm just curious who on these live videos has the same goals and ambitions and drive as me, because those are the people that I want to lock arms with. And I want to grab you by your hands and pull you to come with me okay because listen i don't know if you know this or not but i am going to win with or without you and i would love mary alana for it to be with you i would love tracy for it to be with you i don't want to leave y'all in the dust but i hate to say it if you don't want to be courageous and hungry and grow your confidence with me and grow into a better person so that you can maintain that six figure a year uh, uh, earnings so that you can become a different person so that you can make that million dollars a year or because you so you can become a person to make five hundred thousand dollars in one singular month most people don't ever make that in their life like I don't think that you guys are understanding the vision where this could take you you're just too worried about what your aunt said about online marketing. You're just too worried about your friend from grade school who says that it's a scam, that it's a pyramid scheme. Well, do you even know what a pyramid scheme is? Because that is just, those are illegal. That is not what this is. And hello, can we please wake up and understand that every business in this entire world, whether it be online marketing or whether it be traditional business, like let's say a hair salon, every business is built like a pyramid. The only business model in the entire world where you cannot, you're not capped at a, a certain income, okay, is online marketing. You can literally make as much money as you want in sales. People don't say this. Nobody grows up and says, oh, I want to be a salesperson. And here's the thing. People are like, I, I'm not good at sales. Who here has ever said I'm not good at sales? You guys can just raise your hand, drop a, actually drop a one in the comments below if you have ever said I'm not good at sales. This is what Daniel G said on stage, okay? And it like literally blew my mind. I'm like, oh my God, I gotta say that on my next live because I get this all the time. I'm not a salesperson. Listen, neither am I, baby girl, okay? I am not a salesperson. I think it's icky. I think it's gross. When I go to the store and salespeople come up to me, I'm like, I'm good, I'm just looking around. Anybody else do that? If you do that, drop a me. If you have ever said I'm not good at sales, drop a one because I only see three ones. What the hell? There's like there's like 70 people watching and not a single person is, is commenting except for four people. What's wrong with you? I'm just kidding. You guys, you guys know I love you. You must be very engaged. You just must be listening to me. Okay, anyways. So when people come to me and they're like, I, I am not good at sales. I usually always ask, what do you mean? Like, what do you mean you're not good at sales? And they're like, well, I, I just like, I'm not good at social media. I'm not, I, I just can't go live. Um, I, I like, I've tried it before and like, you know, I, I just, I'm not good. And I'm like, this is what Daniel G said. And he's like, bro, you literally almost just sold me on, on how good you are at not, at not selling. Like you literally just sold me. What do you not understand? You just sold me to think that you're not good at sales. I'm not falling for it, but you are a great salesperson. Every single person. Do you guys <clears throat> realize that your children who here is a mom or a dad? Y'all can let me know in the comments below how many kids you have. What are their names? I love babies. I don't have babies of my own, uh, but I have nieces and nephews and I love them so much. Those are my babies. Those are my babies. You know what I mean? <laughs> Anyways, your kids are the ultimate salespeople. They will sell you in a heartbeat. You go to the store, they will try to convince you why they need this toy. Am I right or am I right? Y'all just gotta let me know. So like, if you can use those transferable skills and follow a system, follow scripts, you don't have to know how to sell, guys. I have scripts in place that I use that close people close your leads now obviously you want to be a human being okay like i'm not just script 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 it away all right but there is a system that you follow you ask this question then you ask this question then you send them this then once they're done you send them this then once they're done you ask them this and then boom you send the pricing they close their they close themselves okay hold on <clears throat> Lindsay's a mom of three. Girl, <clears throat> do you guys ever get <coughs> that tickle in your throat? I just got a tickle in my throat. Oh, Lord, I got a tickle in my throat, and now my eyes are going to water. Lord, have mercy. 
Hi, Casey. Hey, Jamie. Y'all don't forget to say hi in the comments below. Hey, Jessica. I'm an aunt to two boys, so I can relate to that. Hey, hey, pretty lady. Hi, Lisa. All right. So anyways, so when people are like, I don't, I am not a salesperson. I'm like, all right, you just sold, you just tried to sell me and try to convince me that you don't know how to do this, but you literally just proved to me that you can. All right. He's like, you're so good. You just literally almost sold me. That's so funny. Um, anyway, so <clears throat> he was talking about passion too. He was like, do you guys think that I'm passionate about sales? No, nobody wakes up in the morning. And they're like, I am passionate about selling. Absolutely not. However, you can be passionate in different areas of your life, which is what I love. Why I love online based uh, businesses, because I can be passionate about makeup and still sell ketones. I can be passionate about doing my hair, which I'm not, okay? I hate doing my hair, which by the way, who was on my live uh, the other day when I was doing my hair? You guys can drop on me in the comments below. <clears throat> so anyways, I feel like I'm just like overdoing the contour just a little bit, <laughs> but that's okay. Um, so anyways, <clears throat> going through the list, you just have to be hungry and courageous. You do not have to have confidence. Once you become hungry and you start to channel your inner courage, your confidence will start to grow because whenever you do hard things, things that are uncomfortable, things that kind of embarrass you a little bit, you're like, oh, whenever you're done, you're like, oh, it wasn't so bad. You guys, you guys know what I'm talking about, right? Like if you've ever put, if you've ever, like maybe, maybe like, let's just say you got invited to like a baby shower or something. You got into, invited to a party and like, let's just say baby shower, shower because most, most of the time the guys don't go. And so, like, maybe you're really comfortable when your partner goes with you, but, like, the baby shower, it's only a girl's thing, okay? Like, I've been in situations like this where you're invited to a baby shower, shower but you don't really know anybody really there. You don't, like, maybe you know the, the mom, but, like, not that well. Like, maybe the mom is related to, like, your significant other or your partner or whatever. And you go and you put yourself in that very uncomfortable situation. And then, like, by the time you go home, you're like, that wasn't, that wasn't so bad. And then the next time you're invited to a baby shower and like you can't bring your spouse and you go by yourself, you're a little bit more confident in your ability to like get through that situation. Do you guys, are you guys following me? If y'all are following me and you're getting value out of this, drop a fire emoji in the comments below. All right. So that's just an example. <clears throat> so if you're hungry for more, you're sick and tired of being broke, you're sick and tired of living paycheck to paycheck, what are you going to do about it? Because I am here to tell you, this is literally an opportunity that I'm laying on a, on a platter for you. And I'm offering it to every single person watching this, but most people are just going to scroll past it. Why? Why do you keep passing up an opportunity to change your life? Guys, I went from working two full-time jobs as a medical assistant, like barely able to pay my bills. Six months into having hunger and being courageous, I built my confidence up enough to build a business where I could quit both of my jobs. It replaced both of my full-time incomes, okay? I earned a paid-for Range Rover, which, by the way, I see your comment about the update on the car. There's no update, okay? Still don't know the location of my car. It's kind of a shit show. I really don't even want to talk about it right now, okay? Because it will piss me off, man. I'm just I'm working on my emotional intelligence, which a lot of you guys need to do, okay? A lot of you guys are emotionally just, like, scattered, you don't know how to control your emotions. One moment you're happy, the next moment you're like losing your shit. Like what's going on? You have to become a different version of yourself in order to achieve and maintain a six-figure business, a six-figure income. You have to become a different person, okay? You have to become and develop to a different level of Lindsay Marie and Tracy Ford and Vicki Hefner and Alexis Teeter. Hey, baby. How are you? Hey, Caitlin. You have to become a different level of you, a more better version of yourself in order to even achieve six figures a year. So I love online businesses because it's not just about sales. It's not just about selling ketones. Okay. Like y'all know, I love ketones. Y'all know I drink them every single day, which I haven't had them yet today, which that is such a tragedy, man. If you've never tried ketones and you want to learn more about ketones, y'all can drop info in the comments below, but that is not what this is about. Okay. Um, what was I going to say? I literally just lost my train of thought. This is why I drink ketones so I can focus. Um, what was I saying? Can somebody help me out? I got distracted by Alexis. I remember that. <laughs> and then, meh, meh. anyways, I don't know. It will come back. Okay. Show my sock. I don't have socks. 
Oh, I was saying I love ketones. Oh, this is what I was saying. I remember. I remember. Ah, go me. Okay. So I was saying it's not about just selling ketones, drinking and sharing ketones. Yes, that is how I that is how I create my income. That is my cash flow. But in order for people to want to follow me, to even follow my journey with ketones, to follow my entrepreneurial journey, I have to give people a reason to want to follow me. Okay? And I'm just like, I'm literally laying it out for you guys right now. Okay, so if you haven't already shared the video, maybe you're just, maybe you're happy with your life and you're happy and you just love to follow me because I'm a crazy psychopath that has a lot of passion and I have a lot of courage and I'm very hungry, okay, and I'm very confident, okay, maybe, maybe that's why you follow me. Y'all let me know in the comments below, why do you follow me? I'm just curious, okay, but share this video because you have no idea who might come across this video once you share it to your page that could utilize this opportunity, Okay, that is not going to be afraid to say, okay, I don't know what this opportunity is all about, but I really want to give it a try because Amber says I have to become a better version of myself in order to reach my goals and I want to reach my goals. Okay, so share the video, comment, share it in the comments below. Um, still crap, what I, oh, <laughs> this is so bad. Like my train of thought is so bad. Lauren, hi baby. Hey Kayla, say hi. You guys are hopping on, say hello. All right, so anyways. What I was saying is I love online based marketing businesses because it's not just about selling a product. Okay, literally, whenever you come to my page, how many times do I post about ketones? None. How many times do I post buy ket? None. None. All right. So a lot of people when they start businesses, they're like, they get so excited that they started this business and they just want to post about the product. They want to post about their service. And like, Hold on, Dylan is calling me. It is literally not even 9.45 yet. Don't comment, Dylan, I'm on live video. <laughs> Hold on, one second. Hey, Kristen. Oh, she's live still. Okay, that's not gonna work. He's just gonna have to wait. Um, nothing, never mind. Um, Dylan, please stop calling me. Okay. Sorry, he he's probably downstairs waiting on me. He's just gonna have to wait till I'm done. Um, anyways, I love it because... Oh no. Can you guys see me? If you guys can hear and see me okay, drop some eyes in the comments below. Drop some eyes and ears in the comments below because Dylan keeps calling me and it's screwing up my connection, man. I'm gonna I'm gonna fight him when I go down there. I'm just kidding. Um, I love I'm gonna get back to what I'm saying. Back on track, Amber. Back on track. Let's focus, baby girl, okay? I sometimes I gotta just like talk to myself. You know what I mean? Okay, you guys can hear and see me okay. Yay, cool. Alright, so you are literally getting paid on the level in which you develop. You are getting paid on the level in which you develop, okay? So that means reading books, listening to podcasts. There are so many people in this world who have not picked up a book since they graduated high school. There are so many people in this world who have never listened to a podcast. You, you spend your time in your car transporting yourself from work or wherever picking up your kids and you're listening to music which I don't get me wrong y'all know I love my music I listen to music literally all day long but are you are you carving out any time to develop your brain develop yourself like I think people think that once you graduate high school or once you graduate college you don't have to learn anything ever again that is not a great way to live that is how you live a very average mediocre life and I'm just telling you, I'm hungry for more. I am hungry for more. There's no way in hell you are ever going to reach a million dollars a year, $600,000 a month, $600,000 a year by not developing your, yourself, by not learning how to get better. And so I love this so much because you get paid on the amount in which you develop. Your paycheck is the equivalent uh, equivalent of the value that you can provide to the world. So, like, Dylan keeps calling me. I think he's downstairs. Yeah, it's 9.30. We gotta, we gotta wrap it up. <clears throat> All right. Did she just tell me I have to wrap it up? Uh, so we gotta wrap it up because we're gonna have to go in a few minutes. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I need to finish my makeup. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, I kind of just went on a tangent. I need to skedaddle. Um, I Luckily, I'm all packed, so I'm good. I just need to... You got stuff in the bathroom. Oh, I just, it's just a couple of things. All right, you guys. Anyways, I just went off the rockers. If you guys want to learn more about what it is that I do, how, yeah, they're all laughing because she said, you, you got to hurry up. We got to hurry up. <laughs> I need to call an Uber. Um, all right.
All right, you guys. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. If y'all want to learn how to make money online, I would love to be able to coach you, train you, teach you, mentor you, all the things. Um, I'm going to be posting little snippets of my training this past weekend, which is really exciting. So y'all stay tuned. If you're not already following me, tap the follow button. Um, if you want to learn more about how to make money, just remember, drop a dollar sign. Actually, shoot me a message on Facebook or if you're on TikTok, message me on Instagram, a dollar sign, and we can chat. We can get to uh, get you the information and then go from there. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. I love you. I appreciate you. And I will see you guys soon. Bye y'all.